Today we're going to be covering box and whisker plots and I am asking all of you to write down these notes mm -hmm. and just like I have kind of said before, some of this is really new stuff. Um, parents may not know it because it has come out and it is a new way to represent data or a bunch of numbers. Um, I know when I was in school we didn't have to learn this. I don't know if other, if you were a statistics major, if this is something you learned or if this is just a new way to represent data. Um, but it's kind of like this. Back in the day, you had third, fourth, fifth grade. You would have cute things like circle graphs and bar graphs and all that. Well, all it is is that now in sixth grade, what we're going to introduce to you is called a box and whisker plot. Just like a cat's whisker. Okay, box and whisker plot. And I will say, if you're dying to look it up in the book, it is in the textbook. And it is on page 655 and 656. And that's just if you need help or whatever. Okay. Now, box and whisker plots is just another way to show the data. And what I'm going to do is kind of show you first how to create it, and then we'll talk about how to interpret it or read it, okay? So, first, just like last week, okay, the first thing you would do with your data is we're going to write it from least to greatest. And I'm going to kind of cheat here in the first one and go ahead and just put it in order for you. So, the numbers are 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 8, 9. There's no reason for those numbers. That's just the numbers I chose. Okay. Move this down. Now, to create a box and whisker plot, you need five things. We're going to need to find the median and the LQ and the UQ. Okay. And we're going to have to know where the lowest number in our data is and the highest number in our data. Okay, so last week we learned some of these, okay, some of them are kind of obvious, but let's start with median. I think we were all here, even with my absentees, I think we were all here to learn median. So, if I go in, finding the median, and try, okay, this median is right here between the fours. It is basically 4 plus 4, which is 8, divided by 2 is 4. And I realize it is still the same number, but I'm just trying to show you that it's kind of in between those. Everybody good so far? Okay. Now, a few of you were absent last week, so let's talk LQ and UQ. LQ, what it is, it's going to be all the lower numbers, okay? So everything from the median down, okay, so starting with that 4 because it wasn't your median. So whatever's after the median all the way down to the lowest number. What you do to find the LQ is you're going to find the median of those numbers. So going in, that 2 right there is the LQ. It is the lower quartile. It is the what I would call the median of the lower numbers. Okay. Now, the UQ sounds the same way. It's just the upper numbers. It's the upper quartile. So we're going to take these upper numbers, and our UQ is the median of those numbers. Okay. So our UQ, upper quartile. Okay. Good so far? Okay. Now, the two things that we already know, but we didn't really learn last week, but you already know the answer, 
What is the lowest number in our data? One. And what's the highest number? Nine. Nine. Okay, so I don't really have to teach that. But, okay, from those five things, we're now going to create a box and whisker plot. Now, box and whisker plots are created on a number line. And I need you to look up here behind me on the wall at the cute number line. Notice the number line only has one of each number on it. The reason I'm bringing this up is even though this data has three twos, we don't put three twos on our number line. Our number line is going to look like that one. Okay. Now, our lowest number was a one. So what I mean by that is we've got to at least go one below that when we create our number line. So I'm going to start it, and you want to leave a little space. I'm going to start it at about zero, okay, because that's one less than that. And I need it to go about one higher than my highest number. So if my highest number is nine, I need it to at least go to a ten, okay? Now, try to do your best, just kind of separating them out. Yes, you have to label all the numbers. Okay, so I went, started with one lower, one higher. It is created on a number line. Everybody good so far? You want to go, when you are showing this on a number line, you want to go past whatever that highest number is by one or two. Like you could do 10, you could do 11. I mean, you could do 20 if you wanted. I'm just trying to make it a little shorter. Does that make sense? You just want to have a few numbers on each side of that data. Okay, now, this is the way I create it. I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. This is the way I do it. I put a dot at these three objects. So I'm going to put a dot at the median, a little bit up in the air on this blue line. So it's above the four to represent the median. I'm going to put a dot at the two for the LQ and a dot at the eight for the UQ. Okay. These three dots are now going to form the box. Now listen, all it is is take the dot, put your little dashy mark through it. Not super long, just, just a little dashy line. And we're going to connect the tops of those dashy lines and connect the bottom of the dash lines to create a box. That just created our box for our box and whisker. This is our box. Now, so it's, it is formed from the LQ, the UQ, and the median. Now, the whiskers are formed just like a cat's whiskers. They're formed off of what I would call the, the lowest and the highest number. They can be very short. They can be super long. One can be short. One can be long. It's, it's just whatever it says. So, like, this lowest number is a one. So, I'm going to put a dot at one. And I'm going to connect it back to the box. That is that side's whisker. The highest number is a 9. I'm going to put a dot at the 9. That is representing that whisker. So these are kind of short whiskers. Sometimes they can shoot off really long. Sometimes they're shorter. Um, for this one, for these notes, I wish you would label what each thing is. This is your LQ. This is your UQ. Okay. And this is our median. This is our lowest number. And then this is our highest number. That way later, if you can't remember what it creates the box, you can look back up here and say, oh, yeah, the middle line should be the medium. So do you have to draw that when you're doing the Yes, in a way. 
I'll, I'll shorten it in a second. I'll show you the shortest way to do it. You don't have to write this every time. I mean, I'll, I'll explain. I'll show you a shorter one in just a second. I want you to write it this time because if later you're like, you're looking at a worksheet or something, you're like, well, wait a minute, how do you, what number represented that middle line? This way you can say, oh yeah, it was the median. So my median was four, she put a dot at four, she drew a line. Okay, now looking at this picture, I need you to see a few things. These boxes can be short and fat. These boxes can be long and skinny. Um, I have seen some of these created where they didn't even have a whisker on one side because the LQ was the same as the lowest number. It just matters what your data is. Now, I have a few questions. If you just had this, so ignore all those words. Let's pretend you had that, okay? Because we're going to be doing this both ways. Sometimes I'll give you the box and whisker, and sometimes you'll create the box and whisker. So I could ask you questions. What is the median of this data? Four. Four. Now, granted, we, we know because we already did it. But I could ask you the LQ or the UQ. I do have two that I'm hoping you could answer. Could you give me the range? Yeah. Ah, think about last week. Okay, range is highest minus lowest. So it would be 9, not 11. Listen, we need our data. 11 is the number line. So we want our highest minus our lowest, which would be 8. That's right. Could we do the IQR? Yeah. yeah. Okay, IQR. And some of you guys weren't here, so IQR was... The UQ, which is the upper quartile, minus the lower quartile, yes. So it would be 8 minus 2, and so my interquartile range, IQR, is 6. Okay, this is the weird part, that we can ask you all different questions. All different questions, okay. Now, couple things. Be careful with handwriting. If this whisker shoots off to this 11 or it shoots off off the paper, I have to count it wrong. I need to know where it stops. Like I need to, that dot needs to be above the 9. If you mean 9.5, we'll have some .5 type things. Then make sure it is, you know, pretty much in between it. Okay, so let's do one more, but we'll do it the short fashion, I'll call it, meaning without all those words, okay? But use your notes. Use those words up there to help you. Okay, so here are our numbers. We're going to work with a 0, a 2, a 2, a 3, a 3, and a 3, a 4, and a 6, and a 7, and an 11, and a 12. Now, I'll even admit, I probably, there we go. Give you a second to get all those written down. So first, you would put them in order from least to greatest. But I'm kind of making it shorter and doing it for you. Now, look at your notes above that. What did we find first? Medium. Now, this is all I do, guys. I go across here with my fingers. Whoops, I lost track. It happens. Okay, and it's that three, right? Okay, so this is all I do. I don't write words. I just do this. Like, I write it up here, but I don't make that list that I did up here. I don't do that every time. I just do this to kind of shorten it up a little bit. Okay, my LQ is two. My UQ is 7. Okay. If you'd like, I put a star at the 0 sometimes, and I put a star at the 12 just to say, oh, yeah, don't forget those things. <laughs> That's what's going to create my lowest and highest. Ah, yes. So making your number line, what should we really start with? Negative 1. Negative 1 at least. Okay. 
then a zero, then a one. And it happened, like you can even see, I messed up right there. I just did the best I could. Gotta remember where to put the dots. Start with just the box. Two for the LQ, three for the median, and seven for the UQ. I make my goofy little dashy lines. That just kind of helps to make a box better, guys. Connect the top of the box. Connect the bottom of the box. Now my whisker needs to shoot off to zero. Don't go to negative one, remember, it only goes to zero. And then shoot off to the number 12. Okay, this is kind of like a five part question. Like I, I have to check, did you line this up, yes or no? And so on. Okay. Pretty easy. I. If, if you learned LQ and UQ last week, which you guys did, um, and some of you, I mean, we can practice. We can practice. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to do the first couple of the classwork homework with you. Um, there's, a, there's a good bit, but we're going to do the first two or three together, okay? And then I'll let you loose on it. I'm going to try to pause this and come back to it, but I doubt it will work, but we'll try. So, I don't know what just recorded, but that's okay. We'll, we'll test that out later. Um, let it, let's jump into the homework now. What we're going to do is, we, if I was you, I would make these box and whisker plots on notebook paper. Okay. So, I just gave you the worksheet. Okay. Let me do it this way. Maybe this will be better. Okay, now, so number one, first, you've got to put them in order from least to greatest. And that's why I'm giving you the worksheet, so you can write on it. It says draw a box of whisker plot for the data below. So once I get them in order, okay, this is what I'm going to call classwork homework. I forgot to write that. Okay. Now I would just do it the short way. Go in and find the median. Fourteen. Fourteen. So my LQ, 12, UQ, whoops, I did that wrong. Oh, what did I do wrong? It should be in between this, correct? Yes. So yes. It's still 12, but it is in between it. And then right here, it should be in between it. But it is 15. We all make mistakes. Okay. And then no one's perfect. I'll be the first to say that. Then we have our highest and lowest data. Now, when I create my number line, I need it to start down here at about 10. Well, at least one below your lowest number. So like 9 or 10-ish, somewhere in there, and go up to at least 1 or 2 above that, above the 18. Okay. That way you're just showing that 
your data does not just stop where this number line, like it does, but the number line doesn't stop where your data is. The number line keeps going. The data stops, but the number line doesn't. Why do we keep, why do we you're just showing that the number line goes past that data. There are other possibilities mm -hmm. in your data. The number line never stops. Yeah. Other two seventeens? Mm -hmm. Ah, but listen, that's a good question. But listen, this is a number line. Just a number line. So it's just like the poster on the wall. It is just a list of numbers. Yep. So you only want the way you're showing that there are three 14s, it's by the way that it is spread across the paper. I know that sounds weird, but like by putting a dot at the median and by putting a dot at the LQ and by putting a dot at the UQ, you're kind of showing that these three things, they're all really close together. Listen, that represents 50% of your data right there between a 12 and a 15. That's a lot of data squished up, as I'll call it. Okay. Then one whisker is going to go down at 11. And one whisker goes way up to 18. Okay. And that's all you do, each one. Number two, the number, now notice, number two goes across. Please look, it goes across. The numbers look the same, but they're just a little different. And you'll see that that changes the way the median and all that looks. So go across, okay? So... Well, it looks, the numbers look the same, but they're different. So be careful writing them down. So once I mark them all out, I kind of go down here. I'm going and trying to find my median correctly this time. I got 13. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why are you? Listen, this one has the exact median, I think. Unless I've copied it wrong. I've got that as the median. 18, 18, okay, yeah, if you're off by one number, it'll totally mess you up. Okay, my LQ. It is officially 12 plus 12, which is 24, divided by 2, which is 12, but you all get that. The UQ is 15. It's officially 14 plus 16 is 30. Divided by 2 is 15. Okay. Making my number line. Goes between at least a 10 and up to a 19. Now, I'm going to put a dot at the 12, a dot at the 13, and a dot at the 15. Guys, I'm trying to give you some time to get some of this done in class, but some of you are not really getting it finished. Or trying to get it finished, at least. There we go. Look at this. Look at the way that the two different, what we can do now is we can ask you, what is the difference in the medians? 
of these two. What's the difference in the LQs or the UQs? We can ask you all different stuff. Notice this box is spread out a little bit more because there was 14s and 16s. This one's a little shorter and fatter. Okay. You may keep going now. Thank you. 